plants reproduce so that there will always be new plants of the same kind around. Plants can reproduce in different ways. Many plants can grow from seeds. Seeds are found in fruits. Seeds are sometimes dispersed by wind, by water, or by animals. Even human beings help to disperse seeds. The seeds from the fruit are sometimes left on the ground, where they can grow into new plants. At other times, people plant seeds on purpose so that they can get new plants. These vegetables are grown from seeds. But not all plants grow from seeds. This ginger plant, for example, did not grow from a seed. Instead, it grew from an underground stem. This part of the ginger plant is the underground stem. When the underground stem is placed in water or soil, roots and then leaves will grow out from the stem. This plant is often used to decorate homes and offices. It can reproduce itself in a rather unusual way. The African violet can reproduce itself from its leaves. If a leaf of the African violet is placed in soil or water like this, you will find roots growing from it after some time. A new plant will grow from this leaf. This Echeveria plant can also grow from its leaves. Let's look again at some of the ways in which plants can grow new plants. Plants can grow from seeds, from underground stems, and from leaves. Let's look at some other ways in which a new plant can be grown. This bougainvillea plant does not bear fruit easily, so it cannot be grown from its seeds. The bougainvillea plant can be grown from stem cuttings. Let's see how this is done. First, find a strong and healthy stem. Cut it off near the node. After that, remove most of the leaves from the cutting. This helps to prevent the cutting from losing too much water through its leaves. Make a scar at the base of the cutting so that the roots will grow easily. Prepare a tray of soil and make holes in the soil. Dip the base of the cutting into rooting powder and plant the cutting into the soil. This is one of several ways of propagation by stem cutting. After four to six weeks, you will find that roots have grown. 
These flowering plants can also be grown from stem cuttings. Hibiscus Rose Exora Alamander and oleander. Another way to grow new plants is by bud grafting. This is a soursop plant and it produces very good fruit. This is a mountain soursop plant. It has a very healthy trunk and healthy roots. We can use the healthy roots and the strong trunk of a mountain soursop plant and a bud of the soursop plant to grow a new soursop plant which will bear good fruit. This can be done through bud grafting. To begin, remove a suitable branch from the soursop plant. Then, cut out a piece of bark which has a bud. Do you know that each bud can grow into a new soursop plant? Make a cut in the bark of the mountain soursop plant like this. Place the bud cutting into the cut. And hold it in place with a plastic sheet. After about three weeks, you can remove the plastic sheet. And cut off the stem above the grafted bud cutting. From the bud, a shoot will grow into a new soursop plant. Another way in which we can grow a strong and healthy plant is by a method called marcotting. Let's see how marcotting is done with a chiku plant. Choose a healthy branch in the plant. Use a knife to remove a small portion of the bark. Next, wrap a piece of plastics around the branch, tying it up at one end. The exposed part of the branch needs to be kept damp. You can make use of peat moss which has been soaked in water overnight. Take the peat moss out of the pail and squeeze it to remove extra water. Break the peat moss up like this. Wrap the peat moss around the part of the branch where the bark has been removed and cover it with the piece of plastics. After three to six months, there should be roots growing from the covered part of the branch.
cut off the stem like this and remove the plastics wrapping around the peat moss. This stem cutting is called a marcot. Finally, plant the marcot into the soil. Bud grafting and marcotting are two ways in which people grow new fruit trees. Of course, soursop and chiku plants can be grown from seeds. But plants grown from seeds will take a much longer time to bear fruit. We also cannot be sure that the new plants will bear good fruit. Plants help to make Singapore a garden city. The next time you come by these plants, think about how they may have been grown. <laughs>